Hi, this is Rick Eimer, and I'm with the Palo Alto Weekly. We're here today with Mallory Coopy. She is a senior all-around player for the volleyball team. She's our uh, Athlete of the Week this week for helping Palo Alto win the uh, Spike Fest 2 tournament at Independence High School. They went 5-0. and And in the meantime, they also won a couple league games and became the league champions of the Scaval. Uh, and they're probably going to be playing in the Open Division, the CCS. And let's start with the Spike Fest 2. I mean, that, that's got to be a really good tournament to get ready for postseason. Yeah, I mean, it was great competition. We played some amazing games against some amazing teams. And I think we really showed our mental toughness going into these CCS tournaments. So it's looking pretty promising for us as a team, definitely. Right, now this is your third title in a row, I know, for, uh, for the league. Uh, did that make it any more pressure this year, or did you just say, let's relax, have fun? Or? I mean, I think it helps to set the expectation a little bit. Like, we know that we're capable of it as a team, despite being a really young and really new team, since we have a lot of underclassmen this year. But um, it's nice to just know we're able to accomplish that. It's a reasonable goal, and I think it pushes us harder to sort of reach the expectation from the last year. Definitely. Right, and I know you, uh, some of your seniors, uh, uh, you, know, you don't have them, have four, I think, or five, yeah, four. Yeah. So, so just kind of talk about the, your leadership and, and their leadership in, in helping this team. I mean, since we're such a young team this year, we lost eight seniors last year. It's really equally distributed, like all the number of teammates on, in each grade. So our leadership is really equally distributed across the team. I wouldn't say that there's one leader out there. I mean, we all do our part on the court. We're all motivating each other. We function a lot more as a team rather than just one star, one captain, one leader. We all function as a unit, and I think that contributes to how good we are right now. Right, and uh, you know, that is true when you mention that as a unit, because uh, I've seen Amelia not have great statistical games, but you guys still win because you do have so many different areas, different weapons to go. and. Uh, you know, we were talking earlier about you've been a libero, you've been a defensive specialist, you've been an outside hitter. Yeah. I don't know, do you drive the team brus? Uh, no. <laughs> but if you talk about just being that versatile, I mean, uh, what's kind of your mindset? I think just going into every game, every single one of us has the mindset of, I'm willing to do whatever I need to do to get this team on its feet, to get this team in the best position we can be in. I mean, none of us have a specific preference on where we play because it's not about us, it's about the team as a whole. So, I mean, we could have a libero play middle and uh, like Rebecca and she'd be like, yes, I'm gonna do it for the team. So we're all open to that. Oh, that's, that's great. And uh, do, do you, I mean, you actually practice stuff like that where you're, you're playing different positions? Uh, not quite as much. I mean, we, we switch around to what's realistic in a game. Like I'll play libero in practice sometimes. We'll have some of the outside switch to opposite, just uh, something that's reasonable for a game-like situation. So uh, as far as uh, practicing goes and, and things, uh, you know, I was talking to coaches and I've talked to Benji about this, about the libero in particular mm -hmm. being a, such an important position. It might yeah. be like one of your top two players yeah. skill-wise. Uh, kind of talk about that position. I mean, libero is crucial. Becca, uh, Rebecca Lim, she pulls through every single game for us. She is so mentally tough. She works so hard. I've never seen her be lazy or give up on a ball. She goes all in, always, and she's a crucial player to our team. We wouldn't be able to function without her because she gets almost every single up. I mean, serve, receive, defense, she takes initiative on the court and she drives our whole defense. Right, and obviously getting the ball to the setter is very important, so that, that's uh, one thing. And, and you know, you have, like you said, you were talking about a sophomore setter, uh, but you've obviously de developed a rapport with her. Kind of talk about how, how you guys work together. Kylie is the best. I've, I love her so much. Ever since she joined the team last year for CCS, I've loved her. I call her Kyle. Um, <laughs> but she's so good. She's so consistent. She's so athletic. She keeps me on my toes even. Sometimes I don't know which player she's going to set because she's just that good at hiding it. <laughs> and She's also just really a really great leader on the court. She knows how to push us. She puts us on our best game always. I mean, she's great. She's great. Great. Now, I'm sure you guys have talked about the CCS a little bit. Do you uh, have any kind of expectations, or what are you looking forward to? Uh, we're not really sure. We don't even know who we're playing yet, So, um, but we're trying to go in with the most positive mindset possible. We know we're a mentally tough team with lots of talent, despite being such a young team. So really, we're just trying to go into it with an optimistic mindset, with some courage and bravery to go on. <laughs> yeah. So we've been talking to Mallory Coopy. She is our Athlete of the Week, and uh, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> And if you want to find out next week's Athlete of the Week, press that subscribe button down below or visit us at pasportsonline.com.